guys how are you all doing i hope like grandy uh, i just wanted us to do a quick update or analysis on this deck today and see if we can find an entry i'll just give you the things that you need to look out for and then i'll also be giving you you know key you know uh, tips as to why it is important that how it's at your trend line you must make sure that it is accurate sometimes it will save you from taking unnecessary losses guys no so nothing much has happened on 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 h4 the trend line remember the trend line at h4 again it's this one trend line at h4 yesterday we said it was broken and we sort of you know we're just bouncing between this and that remember how price really in between that's when you have to just remember i said you just mark the zone above and the zone below so the price will be ranging in between the two up until one of them is broken and as it stands we, it seems like we challenged this and we challenged that the first touch though it was you know we we, we just undershot and then closed up there the second time it seems like there are bodies around you know the outside of the zone and when you can see that the bearish force force is very strong and there at the top our thing is still holding nicely and remember on daily what did we say we said uh, i think i think this was the first was this a friday bar yeah a friday bar and it closed as a pin bar i said if we form a pin bar Mara, we don't come above that it's pointless and you can see currently the structure <laughs> doesn't, uh, to be convincing us. It doesn't seem to be convincing us that it will go to the you know to the top whatever so let's go down to h1 I'll show you why I'm saying it is important to that how draw your trend line. You must make sure that it is accurate, guys. Let's remove this. I agree it was broken and we did have a new a new thing. Let me show you. The new trend line. But that bearish moving on would be here. I can remember we said for us to have a trend line. For us to use this point and this point, we must make sure that the highs formed by those lows there is a higher high meaning the first low it formed this high right from the first low we got that high the second low must give us a high that is higher than what the first one that's when we can join those lows because they are highs that they formed the is like a high high pattern my one so we both agree that this was higher this was higher than that right so that's why the trend line was there so now the trend line is here ne? and we can see that as much as the trend line is, is is around this this level so look what happened look what happened another thing that it was worth noting on on h4 was that look at this we have what what we call engulfing on h4 of engulfing so we have hit the h4 support supply or the resistance and then we formed an engulfing to the opposite side so when that happens guys and then on h1 what do you have on h1 let's say you wanted to buy from the trend line because you're saying i want to buy but here's an important thing that you need to keep in mind that I've, i'm always preaching this if we have got h4 and h1 and they are not agreeing on each other with each other one is saying we're going up one is saying we're going down which one are you going to go with obviously you have to lean towards the higher time frame because the higher time frame as the structure has higher chances of working out compared to the lower time frame so in this case on h4 what do we have on h4 we've got we hit the sub we hit resistance and we have h4 bearish engulfing which means all these two, two things they're saying what down we're going down and then when we come to h1 on h1 what do we have h1 is saying bullish trend line that's h4 same bullish trend line that's basically it we don't have anything else so are you gonna tell me that when the price gets to this you will try and fight the the, the h4 sub, sub, sub resistance or h4 engulfing with just the structure that you're seeing on h1 where it's just a trend line are you gonna do that if you had done that look what happened do we have taken you out and again <clears throat> the way it approached your trend line this gap is very is very it should tell you something that the bearish force is too strong that it even caused that jump in the price then we went down and now we are playing outside this 
ne outside this now my 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 tip to you would be that now if it was to come here if it was to come here you can take a sen and then it goes down like that so i wanna it is important that how draw your trend line you make sure that it is what it is as accurate as possible because otherwise you'll end up taking trades where you can see that no the structure here doesn't allow my one and you can see that there's some friction here but it's too close now i wouldn't trade this i'll wait for the one on top and hope that the price will do something like this if it doesn't happen it's fine it's not the end of the world we'll catch the next one i want mara as, as it stands i don't see much of bullishness in this structure I want. so i just hope that eventually even the next this week's uh candlestick can just push down a bit so that we enter here guys remember that's the main setup that we have we are looking to buy from inside there now it might take a while to get there so in the meantime you can see that the bullish the bullishness is not there guys like it's there's nothing that is pointing to the upside there's really nothing and remember this trend line it's that daily trend line if you still remember we drew it on daily it's just that it shifted this trend line is here it's the daily trend line my one so yeah that's it guys we're now right now what you should be doing go ring mark this use this bar mark this like this and when it gets there search for selling opportunities and then the stop loss you can put it above and then you'll be targeting what uh maybe until this point maybe until then so you must wait for a reason to sell here don't just go in wait for a reason to sell so maybe you can get rejection bars on m15 and engulfing maybe on h1 whatever then that's when you can end then we'll be targeting something like that yeah i'll be watching it and then i'll just update you guys as it as it uh it it, it, it moves and gives us new bars i'll update you guys all right that's it guys i'll see you in the next one